Hey, all my van life friends. I am coming to you with this quick special shout out to recreation centers throughout the United States. My hair is a little bit more of a wreck than usual um, because I just got out of a swimming pool. Um, throughout Central Ohio and here in Provo, Utah, there are recreation centers that you can go to even as a non-resident. You'll often have to pay an entry fee that's usually slightly higher than a resident. Um, but you can get in. Uh, the one here in Provo is $6. And what that entrance fee gets you is incredible if you have like a whole day where you just want to chill and relax. This one has a walking path, multiple courts where they're playing basketball, pickleball, tennis. They have separate racquetball courts. Um, there are weight, there's weight equipment. There are multiple cardio machines positioned throughout the second floor. There are party rooms that you can rent. Um, but what drew me to this particular rec center is that not only does it have an outdoor pool that you can't use right now because it's winter, but they have indoor pools, plural. Inside the pool area, they have a competition pool with the whole rake of uh, assembly seats where you can go watch competitions um, with the diving platforms and the whole bit. And it's a proper, I don't know, 50 meter, I think. Um, lap pool that's open so if they've got open swim time you can go and you can swim your laps over in the rest of the pool area there are two water slides a diving well that has a climbing wall attached to it so you can dive off the platform on one end and climb up the climbing wall on the opposite side uh, so I thought that was really cool. It was fun to watch people climb up the climbing wall and then just free fall <laughs> into the deep well. Um, so that was nice. Their deep well is 13 feet, I think, so a decent well. Um, then there's a lazy river, and the lazy river is attached to a zero-depth entry kids area with like a climbing playground gym with water buckets that fall and water that splashes all over you, and, and the kids were having a great time. And they have a hot tub. And you can just walk freely in and out of all of that. So for your six bucks a day, the hits don't stop coming though. If you do that day pass, um, I'm not entirely sure how it works. Certain if you have a membership, you can just freely go about. With the day pass, you might have they might have to issue you with a thing. I'm not really sure. You'll have to call and ask. But once you have a membership, and I think the day day pass works this way also. You have access to the local golf course, which is a drive away from the rec center. You also have access to the local ice skating rink. So it's a pretty sweet deal for six bucks a day for a non-resident. Um, as a non-resident, you can also get a three-month membership or a monthly membership. Um, they'll give you the three-month membership, I think she said was $120. If you only use one month of that, it's 40 So you can get the other 80 back if you cancel on that first month. The only reason I know that is because we talked about whether I wanted to get a membership, depending on how often I thought I was going to come swimming, you know, is it going to be more worth 60 bucks, I'm sorry, $40 to me or $6 each time I choose to come. Um, I'm probably only going to be here like once a week while I'm in town, so I'm probably going to go with the day rate, but it's nice to have an opportunity to shower. Oh, I forgot to mention, Three kinds of locker rooms, men's room, women's room. I'm assuming those look like any standard men's, women's, you know, locker room attached to a pool. So there's areas to get showered before you jump in the water. There's areas to shower to get clean after. <coughs> there are changing rooms. There's three different bays full of lockers. There's restroom area inside there. But what I really loved is that they also have a family locker room. And in the family locker room, all the lockers are out in this open bay where you can look out over the water center. But off to the back side of that are all of these family, let's call them bathrooms. <laughs> it has an outer changing area where you can sit down, dry off, change clothes, change diapers, whatever you got to do. Um, it has a separate uh, toileting stall and a separate shower area all in the family bathroom. And they had, I think, 20 separate family bathrooms and probably another 10 family change rooms that are just a big room with a platform that you can sit on and a door that shuts. 
Um, so I really appreciated that they had that. They're also an ADA compliant pool, so they've got the zero depth entry, but they also have a lift to put you into the deep well or possibly some other sections of the pool. Um, so if you need wheelchair assistance, um, the bathrooms, of course, are compliant, but the pool itself is also compliant, and I really appreciated seeing that. So I just want to remind you, as a van life person, as a person who's in this go, go, go life, make sure to check out the recreation centers in the areas that you find yourself in, because sometimes you can light on a really nice deal, and this was a really good one. I had an excellent time at the Provo, Utah Recreation Center. Have a great day.